G'day legends, today I'm going to be showing you how to install a Siemens magnetic flow meter transmitter. The flow tube has already been installed over here somewhere. Oh wait, there you go. And those red things are the flow cables I will be connecting to. And these are the cables. How the hell am I going to get them through the wall? Hmm, that looks useful. Hey, what? Don't worry, I'll put pole cover on it later. Somehow I need to get these cables all the way up the wall here, along the cable tray, along, all the way down, and to this existing flow meter where these are these damaged cables. Hang on a second. What? I told you I don't have any pole cover. Okay, now we need to get rid of these existing flow meter cables here. And that's much better. All right, what you'll need for this next bit is a heat gun, labeler, your favorite heat shrink, some tools, some boot laces, and a boot lace crimper, and some other tools and stuff. What is this? Hey Siemens, 1980 called, they want the instruction manual back. <laughs> okay, follow the instructions and voila. Sensor problem, this is very important. It is the brains. Goes under here. Now let's wire it up. This is too hard with the phone. Ah, it's better. And just quickly for those that weren't paying attention to the incredibly well thought out instruction manual. This is power. This is the coil. This over here are your electrodes. And this is your signal cable. Now I know some of you are asking why all the screens on the electrode cable? Well, the readings that you get from the electrodes are in millivolts. And voltage is notoriously bad for noise. This in turn can cause really bad readings for the flow meter, particularly if you're in a susceptible area that has lots of ground faults. So the proprietary cable that Siemens provides you does come with a ton of different shields that should protect you from any noise or interference if connected properly. When you are ready, chuck the lid back on. <clears throat> screw, screw, screw. Power on. We have power. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's fix it. Hold down this button. Cycle. Two, one. Enter. Enter. Cycle through the menu. Aha. Okay, from here, go through and change it to your desired flow rate and unit. And done. Okay, there's like a million other settings that you can do for this thing, so check out the manual online. Uh, done. Uh, not done. Ah, it's never easy. Right, it's pack up time. And ta-da! Always leave site cleaner than what you found it. So I suppose that was semi-successful, but if you want to know how to diagnose and fix a milliamp current loop fault, go ahead and follow me on LinkedIn. Also share and like this video so more and more people can learn about instrumentation and the water industry.